Hi, it's Will from ChromeCastle.com. <coughs> and in this lesson, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the two different basic types of telescope mounts. Not actual telescopes, but mounts that um, the telescopes go on. And it's very important, particularly if you're new to astronomy and telescopes, to understand the differences here. So we've got is two telescopes, one with an alt azimuth mount and one with an equatorial mount. And here's the difference. An alt azimuth mount means altitude and azimuth. That means this mount can go up and down and side to side. That's a pretty simple thing. If you're really, really new to telescopes, you don't know how to use them, or if you're buying an expensive telescope, that's probably what you're going to get. Very easy to use, very intuitive. We all think up, down, side to side, so you can find things in the sky. But, now you want to get a little bit of a better telescope, you're going to have to consider something like this with an equatorial mount. Now, you can see already that it's quite a bit different. This telescope doesn't actually go up and down and side to side. You know, it revolves on two different axes. And, and let me show you something right here. See this axis right here? That's aligned to the North Star. So what happens is, is this is perfectly aligned with the, the Earth. So what happens there is, and, um, and then there's the other axis here. What happens there is, is that now I can't go down, but I can get to a down position by rotating the telescope in the appropriate manner. See? Now I'm facing that way. And if I wanted to go straight up, I'm going to go that way. See, so there's an unusual feel to moving a telescope like this around. And it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of feel for how it's going to move. But you can't go up and down and side to side. It doesn't happen. So the important thing about that is now, why the equatorial mount is it's going to um, do the exact opposite of what the Earth is doing. So that way, when you say you're pointing at any kind of a object in the night sky, now all it takes is motion in one direction to exactly follow the star or the planet or whatever the galaxy or whatever it is you're looking at. Just along one axis like that, which is kind of which is really nice. So no matter where you're at, you get that motion in one axis and it will follow right along exactly. Whereas with this kind of telescope, you have to move in two directions, you have to move the up and down and the side to side of the two to mimic the Earth. It's very uncomfortable to watch something over a long period of time, particularly if you're taking photographs. Now, one more thing about this is, and you can see it on this telescope, is that a dead clock drive on it. And that's really nice. This makes one revolution every 24 hours, which, again, parallels the opposite of what the Earth does. So what happens is, if I have this plugged in, I have it lined up to the North Star correctly, I can find an object, and the clock drive will kick in, and it will automatically rotate that for me. So I come back an hour later, if it's all lined up right, I can still look inside and see the same object, which is kind of nice. So it makes the observation a lot easier. And also, um, if you wanted to take pictures, if you wanted to take long exposures with, with the telescope, you'd need some kind of a, a mount like this, the equatorial mount. So you, you'd set up the camera, either as a piggyback on this, or just directly on the mount, or through the eyepiece, and then the clock drive would kick in and stay on your object. So, just kind of nice. So that's the difference between equatorial mounts, alt azimuth mounts. Altitude and azimuth, basic kind of a mount. Equatorial mount, a little, little less comfortable to use, it takes some practice, but much better if you're going to do a lot of observing, especially over a period of hours, and if you're going to take photographs. So, <clears throat> um, thanks for watching, I hope I've helped. And I've got a lot of different types of things on my website, strongmancastle.com. If you want to come over, I've got all kinds of tutorials. Um, Maybe catapult, telescope things, um, paper castles, just uh, make video games, a lot of fun stuff. So come on over and have fun, and thank you for watching.